Wheelchairs and globe trotting don't often go together, but a Sydney family is trying to change perceptions about travelling with a disability. It started as an ambitious trip to America five years ago. Now Julie Jones, whose son Brayden has cerebral palsy, is leading a community of like-minded voyagers who share essential information about disability-friendly attractions through a website where no question is too hard to answer. Kathleen Calderwood produced this report. Travelling with a wheelchair makes it much more challenging than your average traveller. You have to think of so much more. But I hate those little wheelchairs at the airport like a pattern. Hi, I'm Andrew Hewitt. I'm a professional drummer. I travel all over the world and I have cerebral palsy. I've been in the USA four times in the last five years. Uh, it's all to do with my music and I'm off to Berlin in October uh, where I'm performing at the Berlin Disability and Art Festival. Well, I do a lot of research in where we want to go, what we want to do, that little thing. So the people joining us at the birthday party today are lots of our readers who we've never met before, some of our readers who we have had the opportunity to meet at previous events that we've held, and some very special people in Braden's life who have been therapists or they may have been support workers. I really wanted to take the kids to Disneyland and I wasn't sure whether that, how well that would go and, and whether it would work for us. I used to work as a travel consultant so I really knew how to um, research all the details for the trip, where the entrances were, which were accessible, what the concessions were, all that nitty gritty information that just meant our day to day travels were really easy. <laughs> We came back and it was just the most liberating feeling in the world to have done that trip with a wheelchair and to have been able to show Brayden a place that I always imagined we travelled to. And we just came back filled with so much joy. <laughs> so the website is Have Wheelchair Will Travel and the idea is that we travel and we travel with a wheelchair and that that's not going to stop us. It's a piece of our baggage just like other baggage. And the idea of the website is to really help and encourage people to make the most of life. We've got a range of people and, and needs on the page. Some people that have got a degenerative condition like multiple sclerosis or um, motor neurons disease. We've got families who, like us, have a child that was born with a disability. And we have people that have an acquired injury. I have people that won't travel because of the airline toilet. You know, you go into those airline toilets and there's no room. There's absolutely no room whatsoever. And I think something like a toilet or being able to go to the toilet limiting you mm -hmm. is one of the saddest things I can think of. <laughs> Good morning, Brayden. <laughs> Brayden really benefits when we travel because he comes home with 
a way of sharing his holiday with other people. He comes home with photos on his iPad. How's it going? It was a way of him, because he's non-verbal, of sharing it with teachers and staff. People look at those books and they see him cable hang gliding or they'll see him you know, jet boating or they'll see him doing something else and they'll realise that, yes, he is capable of those things. How's it going? Good. You alright? Yep. Thank you. You know, he can get out of that chair and he can do other things. And even if he couldn't get out of that chair, he'd still be able to do you know, some great activities. So I think it's good to break down those barriers and perceptions for him. Here we go. <laughs> we would love to see the tourism industry embrace um, accessible and inclusive tourism a little bit more. And I think we've moved so far forward from um, the days where people with disability were hidden and not seen and, you know, they're out in public now. I go through a lot of pain when I'm flying but to get there and be able to do what I'm doing makes it all worth it. Let's hear it for Andrew Hewitt on the drums. That's amazing. Like, I never dreamed of being able to do this. For me to be able to travel the world, play drums, and do things that I absolutely love doing, it's just the best feeling. Ha, ha, ha.